In a quiet, sleepy little town, there is a boy who can never fall asleep. No matter how hard he tries, he just tosses and turns in his bed. His lack of sleep makes him snap at his parents when they offer him breakfast. It makes life miserable. One night, after lying awake for what seems like hours, the boy gives up and decides to scroll on his phone. As soon as he starts scrolling, an ad pops up. The Whisper, the last sleep app you'll ever need. The boy doesn't question his luck and downloads it. He turns it on and... All that happens is a dull yellow light starts pulsing on the screen. This is weird, the boy thinks. How is this supposed to help me fall? But before he can finish the thought, he's fast asleep. He dreams he's lying in his bed, and his room is bathed in a dull yellow light. Suddenly, there's a movement from the corner of the room, and the boy sees the source of the light. A tall, slim thing. Its yellow eyes glow in the dark, while its large mouth constantly moves, as if it's quietly whispering. The boy tries to move, but he's trapped under the covers. He tries to scream, but nothing comes out. He can only watch as the thing moves closer and closer. The thing leans over the bed to whisper in the boy's ear and knocks over the bedside lamp. The boy wakes up with a start. It's morning. Despite the weird dream, he slept the whole night. He's so happy, he barely notices that his lamp somehow fell over during the night. The boy bounds to breakfast. His parents can't believe how cheerful and polite he is. He's like a new boy. That night, the boy gets into his bed and turns on the app. He lets the pulsing color wash over him as he easily falls asleep. The boy is in his bed and thinks he must still be awake until he realizes that he can't move. Suddenly, he hears a crack as the floorboard tears apart and the thing crawls out from underneath its eyes bathing the room in the dull yellow glow. It looks up at the boy and starts moving towards him until it's so close that the boy can smell its rancid breath. The thing's mouth moves in silent whispers and the boy realizes he does not want to hear what it is about to say. He desperately tries to cover his ears, but his arms are frozen in place. The thing leans down to whisper in its ear, but before it can, The boy's alarm goes off. He slept the whole night again. The boy is happy, but also a little worried. That dream felt too real. He's so caught up thinking about it that he doesn't notice the weird crack that has appeared in his floor. That night, exhausted after a great day, the boy gets into bed. Thinking about the weird dreams, he decides not to use the app. But after an hour of tossing and turning, he tells himself to not be silly. They were just dreams. He reaches over and turns on the app. The yellow light comes, and he falls into a deep sleep, only to find himself in the dream again. This time, the yellow light is so intense that it's nearly blinding him, because the thing is already leaning over him. He tries to scream, to move, to do anything to wake himself up but he's powerless as the thing inches closer and closer. It gets next to the boy's ear, and this time, there's no knocked over lamp or alarm clock to wake him up. The boy screams to cover up whatever the thing is going to say, but no sound comes out of his mouth. Then, in a cold, thin whisper, the thing says, You can now sleep forever. In a quiet, sleepy little town, there is a boy who can never wake up.